Welcome, Osana, to our Galbat. Featuring Mr. Abby Arts. Featuring Mr. PCBCA. Featuring the Red Jody. Featuring Mr. Parmir Lali. What's up, guys? <laughs> Great introduction, <laughs> man. Great intro, right? There we go. Um, so yeah, like we've, like I was just telling him right before we started, we, like the local teams in BC. We always talk to each other and we're always just like, let's do some sort of collab, let's do some sort of thing, yeah. let's link up, let's try like, you know, but we always just somehow end up sticking to our own team. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, like we just hate leaving, we end up sticking to our own team, but like this is the first time that we're actually collaborating with like another team and like uh, doing a proper style, you know, like we got some things planned and uh, got a little video coming at the end of this. So, That's yeah. a little surprise. Yeah. You'll have to wait for that one. That's about it, man. Yeah, he came all the way from Abbey, so we had to be free. Yeah, a long 35 minute drive. <laughs> 35 exactly. minutes. Yeah. That's about it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got like, we're gonna go on. So let's just start. Let's go from first time we met. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was at a competition. 2008. Yeah, 2008. VIBC Next. Yeah. yeah. That, oh. was, that was like the first competition where we kind of stepped up. Yeah, I remember the competitive scene. these guys won that competition. Yeah. You guys won, and then that was the first time we got, like, to ex kind of, it was like a senior-junior mix, right? Yeah. Right? I remember one of our boys, Gurik Ball, judged the competition, actually. Mm -hmm. So, that's crazy. Gurik Ball judged the comp, and, like, we were dancing as juniors, so. And he yeah, gave us right. first place. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Right? Shout so, out to Gurik Ball. All fairity there. All fair. Sorry, fair. It was totally fair. Judging used to be pretty fair back in the days, right? Yeah. I don't know what really happened nowadays, but that's uh, a conversation for another I day. don't know if we could say it was fair. I don't think we were paying attention to those kind of things at that time. I guess, right? I guess. And, you know, Pangra was run more with uh, the older bodies and uncles. Yeah. We were just kids having fun. Yeah, man. Right? That was a better time. Um, but if anybody was having problems or any fights after competition, it was uncles, man. <laughs> it was, it was uncles, It was yeah. not the kids. You know, we were good <laughs> kids. So just true, trying man. to do Pangra. Trying to stick to our roots. Yeah. yeah. That's how I learned half the Punjabi gala. Just from the uncles <laughs> fighting backstage. <laughs> Man, all the idols. Just too much. Too many, too many fights backstage. That's right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was BIBC Next. Um, we, I, we were dancing under BC Cultural. That yeah. was like my first senior, junior type of comp. Um, and then, yeah, these guys went eight man, PCBCA won. We were always eight at the time. Yeah, right? And then, yeah, back then, like, Ipangara was just it was the more simpler, right? That's like, when eight man was appreciated. Yeah. Like, Nowadays you can't go to a competition with eight man team and <laughs> expect to win. No way. Yo, yeah. I, I, you don't get the credit for it. Yeah. Recently, Forge, I don't know if you've seen their video, Forge from Boston or something. Yeah, I know Forge. They went eight man music. Oh, really? And I'm not going to lie, shout out to Chirag and yeah. the team Forge. They actually put on such a, like an entertaining eight man set. To music, the formations were like spot on moves, and I love Hodge. Like their style is super chill. So yeah, like watch it if you get a chance. Yeah, it kind of sure. reminded me of old Bangla, like eight man. Yeah. To music, right? Yeah. 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 You want to say something? Was it Bruin? or was it? Uh, no, I think it was, it was Big Ten. I think wasn't it? I don't remember. It was, was it this like last year? This is last year. <laughs> last year. <laughs> Boston or Big Ten? That's Big Ten. Big Ten, maybe. Yeah. That's why we're making this happen because, like, yeah. you know, you hit me up and we're doing this, man. Because this is... I just thought it would be something cool to do. What's up? Uh, how's it going, bro? I see that the water got dizzy. No problem. We always get interruptions. Yo, you brought food for us? Yeah. Like, he doesn't even reply. Clearly, he's not for us. Yeah, he's focused on the food right now, man. Okay. Yeah. VIBC Next, man. So, VIBC Next, 2008. Uh, what was you guys' next competition after that? Then we... Then, the uh, history for me is weird, man. Like, it was all over the place. We did VIBC Next, and then we started preparing for Idols, I think it was. Like, so... Was no, that... there was, like, a gap between what that. Do you guys go to IPFF? No, we didn't do any of those. Then I took... I feel like after Next, yeah. I didn't compete until, like, 2010, 11. Oh, really? Yeah, until, until we, like... We were with BC Cultural, and, like... A lot of the guys stopped dancing. We got new guys, right? Yeah. And then Devinder came back. Uh -huh. See, he came back and started coaching because he had left for a bit. So, yeah, he came back, started coaching our, our like BC cultural team, and then we went to the Idols where you guys won again. BC's best. Okay. That was the that was the first one back. Damn. Yeah. We got really busy after two thousand eight. Yeah. You after guys that, the BC next. After comp, man. I think our next competition was IPFF. Yeah, yeah. 
And that night, I danced with two teams. Oh, shit. I competed twice. <laughs> that's the same not night. fair. Because there was a live category and music category that night. Shit, with both what teams? Um, so PCBC obviously with music. Yeah. Uh, we came second place. Nice. Shine Up and Jeffrey Toronto came that year. Awesome. And they won first place. Perfect. Jenny got best dancer. Shout out to you, Jenny, bro. It kills. Um, and then uh, live, I was with Vadis Punjabde. We got third place there. So I got two medals that night. Damn. I was pumped. And I was like... That's a big I was like 17 years old, win, man. I was hyped. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what I feel like, honestly... Without moments like that in your Pungana history, you wouldn't be here, right? Like, that's what kind of motivates you to keep oh, it's chasing competitions, that. man. Yeah, competitions. to keep chasing that. Like, the drive for competitions, and I don't know, I'm pretty competitive, so yeah, that's what kind of... Definitely, bro. Plus, the traveling, man. Yeah. Traveling with the it's bros, so there's nothing better than that, so... Yeah. We yeah. go to Cali, like, three times a year, and, like, <laughs> we, we say every year, like, <laughs> 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 but honestly, man, it's just getting out with your boys... Anywhere, right? It's fun. So yeah. we always Definitely, say we man. always say we're not going. The next day we're checking Allegiant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Definitely, man. Yeah, we're thinking um, Bruin this year. Yeah. So one last time, man. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, leaked. Yeah. Yeah. Going on the there. internet. I don't you heard it here first. <laughs> what? That would be good. No, yeah, we one last time, and then yeah, we wanted to live live too. Mm-hmm. Year, for sure. You guys gonna rent a house again? That's it, every yeah. year. Yeah, I'm coming with you guys. Mm. I know you guys got the, what's that? Uh, side Dancer Union? Yeah. <laughs> SDU. He does. Yeah, Man's dancer definitely dude. been doing his research. <laughs> yeah. if, if all the BC teams got together and made one elite team, man. Yeah. Hey, remember, okay, so when the Elite Eight came out, yeah. remember they used to choose two teams from each region? Yeah. We could have came. That's when the that's talk the, was that we were gonna make a team BC. We should have, man. We should have gone to one of those representing nah, BC. Th- that time we were really competitive yeah. with each other. Yeah, yeah I know. That's Eagles true. were up here. Eagles were up here. <laughs> There's no way we'd be in the same. Now place. we're coaches. Now we're like we're yeah, stars. Right. So now we gotta humble ourselves. Yeah. Now we're sitting together. <laughs> but we've always had. We, love we don't want to. We don't want to sit together. We're just doing it. Yeah. <laughs> we're just doing it for the next generation, guys. Yeah, that's it. We gotta set a Hope good example. <laughs> yeah. Totally, man. <laughs> but that's that's Pangada. Like, yeah, we like we're so involved in Pangada, man. Just like at the same time, but in different places, right? Yeah. And it's crazy how like at the end of the day, like now we realize that we just did the same thing. Like we had the same journey, just in different ways, right? Like you right. open up academy, and then like a year later, I was like, shit, man. Like I should too, or we yeah. should too, right? Well, you guys had all the resources, man. Yeah. You guys had all the guys. Hundred percent. Yeah. We were blessed, man. Our team's been solid ever since, right? Like, planning, organization, all yeah. that stuff. Like, man, we blessed, for sure. definitely. That's right. So, I was telling you before, too, like, I went to the UK. And yeah. I got a chance to dance at the UK. And, like, they they know this guy. They're like, yeah, Parmir Lali, Parmir Lali. Like, whoever watch, who was watching this, like, they know, man. Like, trust me, you said you Give yourself a good name. Yeah. Um, and even PCBCA, like, you guys won, like, a couple years, just back-to-back-to-back to back to back comps, right? And that was a... We had a good run. Our run was, like, three, four years. Only, yeah, yeah. But, definitely, man. We but had a good still, run. man, I feel like even us, like, I don't know, from the recent history, yeah. like, recent comps, like, our record has obviously fallen, right? Like, we haven't placed at some comps yeah. that recently happened. But when we started Man City, like, the fire was there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah, for we, sure. we, we went, back, like, almost, like, I think eight comps in a row just hit at least first or second. Yeah. So, I mean, whatever. Like, you, you know, know you're, there's always going to be ups and downs. Yeah, right? right? And you know this, too. Like, it's people now, like, we used to rock the same routine for how long, right? Yeah. yeah. It, we like, now we have stuff. it. Right now then. at Abbey Yards and our, with our academy, we have students that will be like, yo, we've been doing this routine for a month straight. Let's change it up. <laughs> yeah, right? And they only come once a week for one hour. So they've done it for four hours. And they'll oh, be like, yeah. yo, this is boring now. Let's yeah, change it up. No but, so with PCBCA, when I was with Uncle, for the three years, we went to probably like a couple of competitions each year. Yeah. And by the end of it, we had no placing. <laughs> all three years we had the same routine yeah. same bardia same mix we changed nothing like we would change probably the middle of scene or something yeah that was it so like <laughs> and our practices we probably practiced twice a week even close to a competition yeah right so at the time like yeah, we weren't ready to compete yeah but for some reason like we just kind of fell in love with competition and like the environment I know man like, you weird. know what like we were, I was so bad for so long <laughs> 
I don't know how. <laughs> we all were, man. I don't know how I ended up developing such a passion for competitive Bhangra, you know? Yeah. Like, I just, I seriously can't wrap my head around it. One thing about PCB is we learn how to lose before we learn how to win. Totally, man. Right? You gotta, you gotta learn how to So lose. if a team's ever, like, our record's really good right now yeah. and we haven't had, we've never seen that fall, yeah. like, just know that it's coming. Definitely, man. Every team's gonna have an up and down. Yeah. You know? You know? And every team, like, starts somewhere. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goal is to never let it end. That's right. right. Like, I'm proud to say that, yeah, like, we started in 2012, right? And, like, the goal is never to let it end and, like, yeah. have that record go on forever, uh -huh. right? Don't, like, yeah, sh like, to all the teams, new teams and stuff, like, don't let it be, like, a two, three comp thing, right? Like, if you're trying to start something, put your 100% effort into yeah. it, man. Like, but everyone's going to be on board. Yeah. It sucks when you're trying to push 12 guys to be motivated yeah, and you're man. the only one. Totally, 100%. Right? I, I think that's how our team kind of faded yeah. away. Yeah. In 2012, like, our last that's competition true. was Big Apple. We went to New York. Even th then we went live. Yeah. That yeah, 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 We yeah. went live because we knew that was our last competition. Oh, so yeah. we're like, if we're going to go to a competition, let's try crossing out one thing off our bucket list. Definitely, man. And I that was too. to go yeah. live. We're on live. We're, we got to do live this year. We won first place there. Nice. Yeah. Solid, so man. that was a good, like... Our first competition with Jason, we won, and our last competition, we won. Yeah. So we left another good record, record, man. And, and, now, and now it's the era of Abbey Arts. Yeah. Go. So now it's a new generation. We opened up our academy um, in Abbotsford, 2015. So this March, it's going to be four years. So that's it. It's all about them now. Uh, Anyone in Abbotsford, know, we know there's a lot of Punjabi people out there. Pangra runs much. in your blood. So go to Abbey Arts. Learn some Bangra. There's yeah. like so many people that message like us like on our website and stuff. For Abbotsford? Yeah, you guys in Abbotsford and I'm like, honestly, it's not our territory. Yeah. <laughs> Take, you know, you Give guys, him my number. Yeah. Send, uh, send him over You can put a number <laughs> on the bottom right here. <laughs> send him over to Abbeyard. But yeah, yeah. man, like, yeah, definitely like the experience is there, right? Like yeah. it's probably more than our team, if so, right? So you're going to learn no, from the best. We kind of started at the same, same time. Same time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Our experience is the same. I guess our journey's been different. different. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been the same journey, just in like different paths. I don't know. We're yeah. we're we know. had a winning phase. Yeah. You guys are in your winning phase right now. Yeah, I know. right. I and know about right now. Huh? Huh? Maybe we, no? we already had like our winning phase. Uh, maybe, maybe with the OG guys. I really haven't been following this Pangra stuff yeah, right? right now because our teams aren't really competitive right now yeah. ourselves. <laughs> like true. we've been to a few competitions to get like our dancing experience. Yeah. Cause like dancing at gigs compared to dancing on stage at a conference is totally different, mm -hmm. right? So and then uh, we took our teams, we took our junior boys and uh, girls to our uh, Tamak Bangla in Calgary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So for them, it was a good trip. It's good. They yeah. had fun. Yeah. You know, and then you get to see like other teams and how they're good going thing. all out. Yeah. And that's when kids will learn like what man. all out means. Yeah. Like unless like at practice they don't know what it's all hard, out means. man. Yeah. Because who are they comparing it to? To the person that's standing next to them. Yeah. That's never done fucking other stuff. Exactly right. right. That's why, man. You gotta be the yeah. yeah. You gotta be the one guy who just rocks it, right? Yeah. You have that one guy who sets the tempo in practice. We're so lucky we have like a couple of guys like that. So yeah. it's good, man. Um, That's right. Our guy at PCBCA used to be Cam. Yeah. Because the tempo. So he was majority yeah. the whole time, right? Yeah. For the three, four years. And uh, after each competition, they would be like, yo, both of you guys are sick dancers. But you're totally different. <laughs> yeah. Cammy picks his knees up to up to yeah, his shoulders, really, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Definitely. And I'm like a graceful dancer. Super chill, man. All <laughs> so the, our all combination was not yeah. good, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, man. I remember that. I remember yeah. watching you guys laugh so many times. Cause like I we didn't compete when you guys were on your like hot streak, right? Mm -hmm. We I was watching all the comps, so. Yeah. Yeah, but it was good, man. The history's been good. We gotta get all the other live like local teams on this, like you know, just talk about all the memories that we we used to share because like like i was saying before man like we're gonna look back up it's in 10 years right and mm -hmm. like we don't have pictures from 2007 and 8 of our of our vazdian but at least we'll have this video to remember what the what i wish we saved like all the pictures and yeah, videos of yeah. all the competitions i know definitely man well it, we still got some you gotta find it in the archives right yeah hit up some of the boys and their iphones and That's stuff. Right. What's up, i don't know if you know me properly but i'm i'm in i'm the newest <laughs> newest edition to van city nice to meet you man <laughs> um, I have a question for you. Mm. I want you to tell me your favorite competition and why. Uh, favorite competition. Damn. Avap two thousand eight. 
Apna Virsa Apna Punjab. It was in uh, Virginia. Uh, and um, it's my favorite competition because, first of all, we had the legend Arjun Barua that was our liaison and he took care of us like fam. So, shout out to Arjun. Um, actually, that was my first live competition. That was my first senior competition. That was my first international competition. Wow. That was the first time I played a sop. And you can watch the YouTube video and you can totally tell. Because I barely opened it up. But we won first place. 2008? So, 2008. My first comp was 10 years after that. So, you got a lot of... Wait, you, got you just started competing now? My first competition was January 2018. You're a kid, huh? You're a kid. You're a kid. You're a kid. You just made me look hella old right now. <laughs> um, like before it was the uncles judging, right? And they're just going to pick the most traditional thing. They're going to pick the best smile, right? That's right. But nowadays, I feel like it's just like inexperience, right? Like I feel like I you have like fuck almost 15 20 years of experience right and me too like I'm almost at 15 mm. and I still feel like I'm not at that level to judge a full competition where I can watch seven eight teams and have enough feedback to give the teams and prove that my decision is right okay I would agree with you but then you compare yourself and your experience compared to the judges that are being chosen if, yeah, if, De if, then, yeah. You get what I mean? Definitely. I feel like we need to, people like us need to step in and start judging competitions more. So maybe, and then see if there's a difference. Maybe teams definitely. are giving better feedback to the, yeah. that know, would definitely get be a better one, review for the competitions, yeah. right? That would be one reason that I would feel like, like I, I'm not, like, judge. now we're not just sitting here hyping ourselves yeah. that we're qualified <laughs> yeah. judges, but at the end of the day, yes, we are. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, yeah, like, think about it. Before we go on stage, we judge our team, like, a hundred times, mm -hmm. right? Every practice. Yeah, and on top of that, whenever there's a video that new comes out, the newest winner, like, we watch that, and then we judge it too, right? Based off the comp. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah, we are kind of judging things, right? Like, just not, like, on paper in front of people, right? So, um, yeah, man, maybe you'll see us on a panel in the future. Yeah, could be new start judging. I am um, gonna. But like to end it off on a more positive note about judging, um, I would say for like competitive teams, like right now, Abbey Arts, we have a lot of new teams coming up. Um, right now, we're taking them competitions to kind of gain the experience. And we don't really, like we bring up the placings and how things work at competitions. Like obviously the goal at the end of the day is to win the competition. But I would say for upcoming teams, don't make it all about winning because like i believe like you're gonna end up turning yourself off about this whole pangada thing you kind of forget why you started pangada and the whole mixture of oh we got second we wanted first and then you start unappreciating your third places and your second places right so I, like honestly i think that's how pcbc broke up we kind of turned ourselves off about pangada because well, we were so competitive like we didn't appreciate our second places Compared to the 15 years of experience, the two year experience guy was going to say is you do you go through a process of about three, four months and you fall in love with that process. Yeah. If you get the result or not, it's okay. It happens. It sucks. Yeah. Sometimes you win. It's great. Right. But if you're in love with that process, you will always go back to it. Yeah. That's my, that's my thinking. So basically you're saying you're fun or no. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get GBX in there now. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Pungar out, out is out. <laughs> Good interview. I'm a <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thanks for sharing this couch. <laughs> you guys want to switch spots or something? Make it a little different? Yeah, I think Buddy's pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. I'm really my thing, bro. What do you want me to talk about? <laughs> I don't know. Mixing, bro. Like, yeah, who makes you guys mixes? We just jack them off SoundCloud. <laughs> so, Lali, recently I've seen on uh, SoundCloud and even on Facebook, you posted stuff about you did production. Yeah. Uh, Co-production, right? I co-produced co uh, co a, a song. That. I just heard this song actually before this. So. You want me yeah, to play this song? Yeah, he was playing it before. Yeah, yeah. Are we going to keep this yeah. stuff? Uh, yeah, uh, I co-produced for some song that dropped like two weeks ago. I got a friend of mine that raps in Abbotsford. And, uh, super off-grid guy, eh? Yeah, 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 super off-grid. He's like straight off the grid. No one really knows who he is. Are um, you looking to take your production like further or is it just like a part-time thing? Like, I'm just, hobby it's kind of like a hobby thing hobby for thing. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if something, you know... If it grows, then cool. Yeah, yeah, but I work with another producer. His name is Nobu. Shout out to Nobu. He's from here. He's dope. He's my little bro. Huh? Is he from here? He's from Abbey. Oh, it's so Yeah. Yeah. So how did you get into music? 
<laughs> well, actually, I got into mixing. Well, in 2015, I was on my high school team. Yeah. And we needed a mix. We had no DJ to make the mix. There yeah. were like three of us trying to make the mix. Mm. One was KBD. KBD couldn't make a mix, right? <laughs> so then, yeah, I, I, that mix was so shitty. Like, I listen, I listen to it, I go back and listen to it, it's so cringe. Like, I don't know why. I, thought I could mix at the time, but yeah, I, I made that mix, it worked for our performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the time being, yeah, it was good. Yeah, for the time being, it was good, right? It was on beat, that's all that mattered at, the, yeah. at that time. Then, I started posting on SoundCloud, and then my friends would listen to my stuff, I'd get like three, four hundred views, right? Yeah. Then, at that time, that was a lot for me. Yeah. And then slowly, I kept I kept going, and once I got to Van City, I had more resources, like, I had like Birdie and Jen to look up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually started getting the hang of it. So, so they I'm, were like your mentors? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's crazy. What about MMG? Oh yeah, I'm a Malay music group, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, KBD tried getting into DJing too, but <laughs> kind of <laughs> fell off the grid, right? Then you know what Then you know what Peace out.